Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. hello good welcome, evening. welcome to our session tonight, ladies. Le, 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 ladies, hello. Good evening. Nice to see you around here. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, I can hear a little background. Uh, be careful with your background. Be careful with your background, please. Hello, guys. Hello, ladies. How are you doing today? Jenny, Ana, Catherine, Maide, Ana Lopez, Soveda. How are you doing tonight? I'm so happy. I'm so glad to see you back. I hope you had a good day today. How are you? Are we ready? Hello, Anna Jansi. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? Hello, teacher. Yeah. Very nice. Un poco cansada, como se dice? I am a little tired. I am a little tired. Yes. Really, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I am. Let's move on. Let me say welcome to Catherine Ramirez. Hello, Ms. Catherine. How are you doing tonight? Are you ready? Hi, teacher. Um, I am. I am. Stressful. Stressful. You're stressful. Really? Yes. Why? Your work. Because of your work? Um, for my work. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sorry to hear that, Miss. <laughs> take, um, take some relaxation activities. Uh, okay, so yes. you can calm down. Calm down, Miss Catherine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is your English class, so this is going to help you to relax. This is a very good technique for you to relax yourself. So I'm yeah. happy to see you. I'm very happy to see you here, Ms. Catherine. Let me say hello to my de Espinosa. How are you doing, young lady? Hello, teacher. How are things? Uh, I am a little excited. A little tired, just like Anna Jansi. Yeah. Anna Jansi is a little tired, so are you? <laughs> yeah. Why? What happened? What did you do today? For uh, work, work. Because every of day. your work? Okay, so yes. Catherine is stressed. She's stressful because of work. You're tired because of work. Uh, um, 4 p.m. So you have to do many activities at your company, I believe. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, uh, you How do you tired. say various in English? Many. Many. Many Barrios. activities. Yes. Various activities? Many activities. I have many activities to do at my work. Uh, well, actually you say duties. It, activities at work is duties. So you have many activities, many duties, right? To comply with. Many. It's difficult. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, you feel very uh, satisfied with with what you, you know, contributed to your company. So that's good for you. That's good for you, okay? So let me say welcome yes. to who? To Jenny Escobar. Hello, Jenny. How are you doing? Hello, good evening. I'm great. Really, you had a good day today? Yes. Are you stressful? Are you tired? How are you feeling? <laughs> no, no, I, I so good. It's, it's, but it's my activity for in the morning is uh, a teach for the, the children. It's, I, I have a different activities in, in, in playing and 
but it's it in in the afternoon is a rest so practically you work in the morning that is your working yeah hour schedule and in the afternoon you don't work i work but it's the is I work in the seat in in my computer. I, I administrative the, the, administrative yeah, work. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you continue working right now with the kids, but uh, you're you're doing some administrative work like reports, lesson planning, yes, exactly. attendance. All right. Exactly. In the computer. All right. So you stay you stay in the school to, to work in the computer or, or you go home to work in the computer? No, on the school. On the, the school. school. Okay. Yeah. Good means. Good means. Your job is Thank good. Thank you. Your job is good. I'm Thank I'm you. very glad. All right. So yeah. let me say welcome also to who? To Ana Lopez. Hello, Ana Lopez. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Welcome. How are you, How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. I'm so ready for this class. We're talking about description. We're talking about your, you know, your appearance or someone else's appearance, talking about general appearance, talking about age, talking about height, hair, hair. What a difficult word to pronounce. Hair, right? Hair, uh, yes. Hair, 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 <laughs> hair, hair is beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. She has long hair. Okay. Yeah. Remember, yeah. we can talk about length when when it comes about hair because you can have long hair, you can have short hair, but in the middle, you can have middle. middle. Medium, medium hair medium length medium length mm -hmm. and how remember do you write that... it hi repeat how do you write right length oh go it yes how do you write it yes how do you write it is correct let me show it to you let me show it to you this is the last part we were studying yesterday right in, no, no, it says no, no. how long is your hair how long ah, yeah, 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 hair? Yeah, yeah. it's medium, medium length medium length remember yeah. long hair mm -hmm. short hair or medium length don't confuse medium length we're talking about hair okay uh, don't confuse it with height because in height right we have Tall, very tall, short, oh. right? And medium height. Repeat, medium height. Medium height. That is for height. And for hair, it's medium length. So don't confuse that. Also, we have a question about color. What color is his hair? It's dark or, or light brown. He has... Yeah brown hair so remember talking about appearance the general question is what does she what does he look like okay you need to give description talking about height talking about hair talking about an adjective like gorgeous like serious like quiet like good looking etc right and then okay. um, we could make punctual questions so mm -hmm. we're going to do a little a little role play with this activity we're gonna do mm -hmm. a little dynamic okay we're going to uh, choose one participant and we're going to ask all these questions uh, who's that Soveda? okay got it Soveda. thank you so if you can chat that's okay so Anything? Let me choose. Let's choose um, Jenny. Are you ready, Jenny? Are you ready to participate, Jenny Escobar? Okay. Can you tell me the name of one family member? Names. One. One. Can you choose one family member? 
and tell us the name he or she. Is it your uh, husband? From, Is it your... Is, yeah, for my husband, is Richard Freddy. Richard, okay. Richard is your husband, correct? Yeah. Okay, okay, class. We're yeah. going to ask yeah. questions to Jenny about Richard. Do we have a volunteer? Richard. Come on, participate. Practice your English. Me, me, me. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. How tall is he, Jenny? How tall is Richard? Okay, Jenny, how tall is Richard? He is medium height. He's medium height, okay. I have a question. Yeah. What what does what does Richard look like? He is um curly hair. It he is a um, uh, it use a I, I don't remember the name of this on and mustache. Use a, it, mustache. Thank you. Mustache, uh -huh, exactly. But it um <laughs> yeah, but I can see, but he is a it's a medium height, is um he's a the the colors eyes for is is a different color, but is uh it's a yellow and green and the uh, honey wow uh, <laughs> yeah but is okay 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 sufficient sufficient guys okay. who has who has a, a different question who has another question for her How old is Richard? Okay. How old is Richard? How old is Richard? He, he, he is uh, 40. Hey, 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 Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, we got you in trouble. Yeah, okay. He is uh, 43 years old. <laughs> He's 43 years old. So you can say he's 42. 42. 42. 42. Yeah. You can say 42, he's 42 years old, or he's he's in, in his uh, 40s, right? He's in his okay. 40s. All right. Remember, when you talk about his hair, you're going to say have or, or has in this case. He has, okay? He has brown hair, or he has light brown hair, etc. okay? So the verb have or has, when you describe the hair. Let's go, one more question, sure. one more question, go ahead. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay to say he has no hair. Can you repeat, he has? No hair. No, no, you can say he, he's bald. Oh. He's bald. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Somebody has another question. Can somebody ask a question with does? Nobody? Question with does. Me again. Okay, go does, ahead. Does he... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Does he has, or does he, yes, does he has beard? Does he have a, does he have, have a, yes, does, does he have, he a, have beard? a beard? Yes, he has a beard. A beard. Very well. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for the participation. And and with all these questions and answers, we come up with, with we come up with certain idea of of what Richard really looks like, right? We ask about his age, we ask about his uh, hair, his height, and punctual questions. 
using does. So that's pretty interesting. Thank you, Jenny. Okay. You're welcome. Let's choose, let's choose um, Adelie now. Ready, Adelie? Can you choose someone in your family, please? Okay. His name is Daniel. Okay, his name is Daniel. Okay, class, let's ask questions. Go ahead. How old is Daniel? He is 13 years old. 13 years old, I got you. Okay, next. What does he look like? Excellent. What does he look like? I like that tone. Go ahead. He is medium height. Is he has a short hair, green eyes, and he is very handsome. Oh my goodness, I can imagine <laughs> he's very handsome. He's my son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why. Yes, yeah. he's very <laughs> handsome. Okay, go ahead. Next question. Does he use that he is too? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Lady, lady first, lady first. Does he... Wait, Miss, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Let's go, Rodrigo, can you try? Does he use brackets? Does he use brackets? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Very no. well, very well. Do we have another question over there? I have a question because you, you said that he has short hair, right, Adley? Yes. He has short hair, but you didn't mention its color. So what color is his hair? Is, is brown hair? He ha he has a brown hair. He he has brown hair. That's he it. has brown hair. Yes, he has brown hair. Outstanding. Nice job. Okay, let's do one last round and let's go with Rodrigo this time. Okay, Rodrigo, can you say somebody in your family so we can ask about that? Okay, the name uh, my mother Rina. Rina. Rina, yeah. Already, people, let's shoot questions to Rodrigo about his mother name, Marina. Let's go. How old is she? How old is she? My mother has 64 years old. Let's make a correction. Every time you say the age, you use the verb to be. Okay, Rodrigo? Okay. Ah, okay. She's 64 years old. Did you say she's? Yeah, she's 64 years old. Excellent, excellent. Remember that? Okay, she's 64 years old. Okay, excellent. Next. Rodrigo, does Rina, does Rina like pizza? Yes, she does. Yes, she, she does. She likes pizza, huh? Yeah, she she loves pizza and hamburger. I'm sorry, can you repeat? <laughs> can you repeat that part? He she likes pizza, hamburgers, and Chinese food. <laughs> okay, so so she likes she likes junk food, let's say. Yeah, she she uh, she likes junk food. It's do it doesn't uh, very healthy for. for I, I hope I hope she also likes soup, vegetables, and fruits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we have one more question around here? Rodrigo, what does she look like? Wonderful. Go ahead. Okay. My mother is is. Um, is very pretty, I think, and he 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 has long she, hair. She has. She has long hair. She has. Uh, uh, 
honey eyes and uh, he has a brown uh, uh, skin brown, brown sh sh she's brown skin H how long is her hair the long i think um, how long is a long hair she has she has long hair has a long hair yeah all yeah. right all right outstanding practice ladies and gentlemen thank you so much you guys are about you guys are very participative and i let's love go that i really love it <laughs> let's move on let's move on we finalized talking about description you know describing people which is amazing okay Okay, so we will listen to a description. Let's see. And this is a listening that you gotta do, right? This is for you practically. So let's see what do we have in this dialogue. We have a dialogue right here. Let's check this conversation. Let's go. Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation, try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. So when they say participles, they are talking Just about a gerund. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Okay. So for example, when, when he asked Julia, he said, Julia, which one is she, right? Which one, which one is because there are many options in the party there are many women there are many uh ladies so raul goes which one is she right is she the woman wearing glasses the woman wearing glasses so that's a participle right also when Liz says she's standing near the window uh, that's a preposition right there right near she's standing near the window so let's listen and repeat let's listen and repeat hi raul good to see you where's maggie can you repeat hi raul good to see you what's maggie, what's maggie? She couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, she couldn't, oh, she couldn't make it. She went, she went to, went to, went to a concert with Alex. with Alex. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Oh, well, well, why don't why you go, don't go, 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 go to go to Julia? Julia, anyone, anyone, she doesn't anyone know here. anyone here. Anyone repeat, Julia, which one is she? Julia, Julia? which is one, one is she? Is she the one? Is she the woman? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Is she the, the woman, woman wearing glasses over there? Over there? Over there? Repeat, over there? Over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. No, no. She's, she's the, the tall one in jeans. 
She's standing near the window. She's standing near the window. Did you see? Did you see the woman in the picture that is standing near the window? The tall one. The tall one. It's like what you say in Spanish, la, la alta, right? The tall one in jeans, right? Repeat, yeah. I'd like to meet her. I'd like to meet, I'd like to meet, I'd like her. To meet her. All right, do we have any question on this conversation? Who is... Who is um who is Julia, guys? Who is Julia? Can you tell me who who Julia is? In the picture, can you check the picture and tell me who Julia is? Yeah. Who is Julia? Julia is near the window. She is Jack. Green blouse. You can say in a glass. Yes, you can see Julia is the one. Julia is Julia the one, is the one the standing one. near the window. Standing, uh, standing near, means standing near the window. Parada, right? Standing near the window. Standing near the window. What else can you say? Um, what else can you say about Julia? She wears a jacket. She's the woman. You can say. Okay. She's, she's the, the woman. woman. She's Repeat. The woman. She's the woman wearing wearing jacket. 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 Correct. She's the woman wearing jacket. What else? What else can you say about Julia? She's the woman with long black hair. Correct. She has long, beautiful black hair, guys. So that is something you can definitely point out. All right. And who do you think, who do you think, um, let me see, Liz. Who do you think Liz is? She's the woman with curly black hair. Correct. She's the woman with curly black hair. She's the woman holding a drink. Yes? She's the woman holding a drink. Do you understand? Sosteniendo. Holding. Holding. H O L D I N G. She's the woman holding a drink. And Raul is also uh, the man holding a drink. Okay, All right. Drink. Very well. Any questions so far? So far, so good. Let's move on. We have modifiers with participles. Hello again. In this session, we will understand and use modifiers with participles and prepositions. Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Who's Raul? Participles. He's the man wearing a green shirt. Which one is Raul? He's the one talking to Liz. Who's Liz? Prepositions. She's the woman with short black hair. Which one is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Smiths? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Smiths? They're the ones on the couch. So look how different you can give this information, guys. If you can use participles, you can use wearing, Yes, you can use wearing to describe what the people have as far as clothes, jacket, jeans, uh, tie, high heels, etc. Right. And um, you can also use talk, talking. Right. When someone is having a conversation with somebody. Yeah, you can you can describe that. And he's the one talking to Lise. So that's when you ask, 
who's Raul, which one? Which one is Raul? You see a group of people, right? So you say, which one is Raul or who's Raul? In um, using prepositions, when you use with, when you use in, when you use next to, when you use on. She's the woman with short black hair. Can you repeat, guys? She's the woman with short black hair. She's the woman with short black hair. With short black hair. She's the tall one. She's the tall one in jeans. She's the tall one in jeans. Which would mean ella es la alta, ¿verdad? Eh, con pantalones de lona. How would you say the opposite? How would you say the opposite? Like, ella es la bajita eh, en falda. How do you say ella es la bajita en falda? She's the short one. Ajá. Uh -huh. En skirt. En skirt. Correct. Or just in skirt. Or just in skirt. That's correct. She's the short one. She's the tall one. Giving a description, right? Yeah. Using a preposition. Describing clothes. All right. Next to, okay. They are the people because it's plural. When you ask, who are the Smiths? Right? Who are the uh, Dobsons? In the United States, it's very common to call families by their last name, right? The Dobson's family, the Smith's family. So they go like, who are the Smith's? They are the people next to the window. All right. They are the ones, if it's plural, they are the ones on the couch. They are the ones on the couch. Do you have any question? Teacher, what's the meaning of couch? Couch is the synonym of sofa. You can oh. say sofa or you can say couch. <laughs> All right. Okay, good. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Okay, so if we ask questions, if we ask questions about the classmates, about the students in this class, okay? For example, we are not able to see completely, right, what you're wearing, what you're looking like, but we kind of have an idea once you have your camera activated. So if I ask you, if I ask you, for example, um, who is, class, who is Jenny? Who is Jenny? Which one is Jenny? Can you help me? Can you give me a direction? Is the woman with, <laughs> I'm sorry, with green, green shirt? Yes. And she's, she's the woman with green, I think it's a, is it a t-shirt? Is it a blouse? Or blue, blouse, blouse. Is, is it a blouse, Jenny? Or is it a t-shirt? <laughs> a blouse. It's a blouse, okay. So she's the woman. She's the woman with green blouse. Can you repeat? She's the woman with green blouse. She's the woman, the woman with green, green blouse. What else? What else can you say? What else can you say to describe Jenny? Jenny is the woman uh, who wearing a glasses. Uh, Jenny is the woman wearing glasses. Repeat, Rodrigo. Uh, Jenny is the woman wearing glasses. Perfect. She's the woman wearing glasses. Very well. Thank you so much. Can we describe, can we describe Isaac? Who is Isaac? Which one is Isaac? Okay, Isaac, you're gonna be the model. <laughs> uh huh. Who is Isaac, class? Mm. I can't hear you. Is I yeah. 
I'm sorry. He is the he, Isaac is the man with short black hair and he does no he does have no or he, he doesn't have, have he does have a beard. He doesn't have he doesn't have a beard. Yo veo que si tiene. Or he does? <laughs> oh yes, he does have a beard. Okay, I'm sorry. He has a beard and and he has a beard. That's right. Short black hair. Okay. He's the man. He's the man with preposition with short black hair. And with a little a little beard, right? <laughs> all right, all right. What else can you say? What else can you say? Is there something else you can say about Isaac? I can see a t-shirt. I think he's a he has a t-shirt today. Yes, yeah, so the but you need to put the bird to be, right? He's he's wearing he's he's wearing yeah a blue t-shirt he's the man he's the man wearing a because it's singular a blue t-shirt i think it's blue is it blue or or gray isaac <laughs> i think it's i think it's like blue something like that it's a little green <laughs> after many wash after many washes <laughs> No worries, no worries. Let's describe someone else. Let me see. What about Catherine? Who is Catherine, guys? Can you help me to identify who Catherine is? Which one is she? Where did you go, Catherine? I need to see you. Where did you go? I think I think she took off. What? Oh, she's okay. there. She's okay, there. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I almost freak out. Okay, Catherine. Okay, tell me, guys, who's Catherine? She's the woman. She's she's high black high. hair. <laughs> She's the woman with black hair, but we can add something else. Is it long or short black hair? Oh, his hair is long. Her hair is long. Okay. Right? Her hair. hair. Her hair is long. Uh, what do you what uh, how do you say how do you say so? How do you say su? Para ella, her. In English. Her. Sí, es que ten, es que. Um, sí, sé que para ella es, es her y para él es his. Uh -huh. Pero pensé que. Ajá. Bueno, está bien. Ajá, lo que pasa que ahí con la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Her. Uh -huh. Her. Hair, mm -hmm. hair, right? That's why it gets a little, a little tricky, a little difficult. Okay, her hair is long. That's nice. Her hair is long. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What else? What else can you say about Catherine? What else? Catherine is the woman who sitting in the green couch. Really? Right. She's the woman who's sitting on the green couch. Wow. You can you can see you can see the couch? I cannot see the couch. I see one green couch, yeah. Great, great, fantastic. Okay. Very well. I think something happened with my, let me see, with my presentation. Let me check. 
Yes, I cannot see all of you. Okay, let me see if I can share my screen then. No, I cannot share my screen. That's very rare. Okay, anyways. So this is how you describe, right? Using participles, which is gerunds, or using prepositions. Um, pretty much it's not so complicated. Uh, it's just a matter of knowing when it's she's, when it's his, he's the man, she's the woman, right? And after that, you decide, it's participle. He's the man wearing, yes? He's the man talking. He's the man standing, right? Depending, or he's the man sitting. You can say he's the man sitting on the couch. He's the man sitting on the sofa, right? Giving information. Do we have any questions so far? Mm -hmm. well, like... Go ahead, Rodrigo. No, I'm, I'm clear like coffee. Can you repeat? No, I don't have a question because I clear like coffee. You're clear like coffee. Yeah. <laughs> You're clear like crystal water or clear like, like coffee water? <laughs> like, like coffee water. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Oh, like, like, like a tea. Like, like a, tea. <laughs> okay okay my computer is working again so let's share this one um vocabulary vocabulary to describe appearance let's let's find out we have a vocabulary to describe appearance give me one second here we go can you let me know if you visualize? Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Perfect. Oh, oh, it went back. This is something we already saw. Give me one second, guys. My computer is really nervous right now. Okay, so this is something we already saw. I'm sorry. And this is your kind of quiz that you gotta go through. So we're kind of advancing on this, on this uh, module, which is really good. This is what we just saw. And this is an activity you gotta do. Right. Let me see. Okay, so here we come with the present perfect, right? Okay, let's find out on this conversation a visit to New Orleans. Let's go through it. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh. Well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> My feet are killing me. Uh, do you have any question on this conversation? Days. Do you have any question on this conversation, guys? Um. Here we have present perfect. 
person purpose. Yes. And and they introduce it. They introduce it with the basic verbs. For example, the verb to be, right? The verb to be, simple past is was and where. And the past participle is been. B-E-E-N. Been. Can you identify another uh, past participle verb? Have you been? Written. Written, yes. Right. Road. Written. Written. Yes. R I D D E N. Also, also, done, D-O-N-E, done. done. Guys, how are you with the past participle verbs? Do you know them very well? Participle. Some of them, or you have problems? Mm. When you use. Okay, as intermediate students, you need to start learning the past participle verbs. Let's do a practice, okay? Let's check the basic verbs. Let's check the basic verbs. For example, eat, ate. What's the past participle? Eaten. Eaten. Eat. Eaten. Okay. Drink. Drunk. 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 Okay. Drunk. Let's go with go. Went. Gone. Gone. That's right. Have. Have. Had. Had. That's right. Write. Wrote. Written. Written. Okay. Feel. Felt. Mm, felt. Felt is the same. Okay. Forgive. Forgave. Forgiven. 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 Okay. Break. Broke. Bro broken. Broken. Okay. Understand. Understood. Understood. Understood is the same. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. When you know at least the basic verbs, that's an advantage. If you don't know the basic verbs, I suggest you to start studying, okay, the past participle verbs. Let's go with regular. What about regular verbs? Let's go with need. What is the past participle? What? Need. N E E D. Need. Uh, need. What is the past participle? Need. I think it's the same. Need, need, need. I mean, it's the same. You just add E D at the end because it's a regular verb, remember? But the problem here is not the spelling. The problem here is the pronunciation. Yeah. Needed. Needed. Repeat, needed. Need, 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 needed, needed. Okay, repeat, talk, 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 T-A-L-K, talk. talk, talk. What is the past participle? Talked. Correct, E-D, and the pronunciation at the end is T. Talked. 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 Same case with work. Worked. 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 Want. Repeat want. Want. Similar to need. Want. Want. Wanted. 
wanted. Okay. How about help? Help. Helped. Correct. Helped. T sound. Helped. Yeah. Hey, guys, you're not doing so bad. You're not doing so bad. Congratulations. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay. So that's for you to have kind of an idea. If you're going to get into present perfect, we have to know past participle verbs. Get into study past participle verbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of them, as many as possible. As many as possible. Let me share. Repeat, it's great to see you. It's great to see you, Todd. Repeat. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been, have you been in New Orleans long? Have, have, you, been you, have you been in New Orleans long? Just for, oh, or just a few days. Repeat, just a few days. Just, Just a, a few, few days. days. I am really excited to be here. I'm really, I'm really excited, excited to, be to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. I, I can't wait, wait to show, show you the city. city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you Have been, you to, been to, jazz to a jazz club, jazz club yet? yet? And that's a present perfect question, right? And, and the word yet at the end, remember, yet it's for yes. negative, for negatives and questions. Okay. Yes. Negatives and questions. Mm -hmm. Repeat, have you been to a jazz club yet? Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've I've already been to one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've already been to one. Already, I've I've already been to one. I've already been to one. Oh well. How about a riverboat tour? Oh, well, oh, well how, about how about a riverboat, a riverboat tour? Tour. Oh, I've already done that too. Oh, I've oh, already I've done, already that, done, too. done that too. I've, I've already. I've Done. I've already done that. I've already done that too. Done that. I've already done that too. Excellent. Oh, I've already done that too. I've already done that too. Have you written? Have you written in a streetcar? They have are a lot have of fun. You written in a have you written car? in a... They are a lot of fun. They are they a, lot, are a of lot, fun. lot of fun. Actually, repeat, guys. Actually. 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 And, and, and do, do you know the context for actually? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Actually, that's how I got here. Repeat. Actually, that's how I got here. Actually, actually, that's how I got here. Today. That's how I got here. That's how I got here. Actually, that's how I got here. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, well is, there is there anything you want, want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. <laughs> Repeat. You know, I really just want to take it easy. 
Very well. Repeat. My feet are killing me. My feet. My feet. My feet are killing me. Okay, teacher Kalev is going to be Jan. Okay, and the participants are going to interpret Todd. You ready? Give your best pronunciation. Try to sound natural. Let's go. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Yes, I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have a red bit to one. And my other students, what happened? Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, oh I thought I read done, done, done that too. too. Have you ridden um in a street car? They are a lot of fun. Actually, actually that's, that's how, how I got, got here today. Here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Well, no, no, no. My feet are killing me. So that means that he's very tired. He's extremely tired. Okay, guys, you start now. Participants will be Jan and teacher Kalev will be Todd. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. Um, yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, oh, well, how about oh, the yeah. river 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 boat tour? Um, I've already done that too. Have you read Have you read in a street car? Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, um, you know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. <laughs> All right, and maybe. Maybe what I can assign you as a homework is to prepare one question using have you. Have you. For example, have you ridden in a street car? Have you been? That's very common. Have you been to a different country? For example, guys, have you been to a different country? Hello? Have you been? Have you been to a different country? Yes, I have been in Guatemala. Repeat. Yes, I have. Repeat. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Repeat, guys. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, have. I have. This no, is kind of a just no question, but it's a very nice opportunity to give more information. Yes. Have you been to a different country? Rodrigo's answer is yes, I have. And after that, Rodrigo, you confirm the information. You give additional details. Yes, yeah. I have. I have been to, yes, I have been to Guatemala, Costa Rica, <laughs> so on and so forth. When it's negative, what is the answer when it's negative? No, I haven't. 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 Correct. No, mm -hmm. I haven't. Oh, haven't. Yes. Um, you say, no, I haven't. I haven't been. I haven't gone. I haven't visited a different country. Maybe in my future, I will. Right? Yeah. In my dream. In my <laughs> in dreams. dreams. No, you already you already visited you you yeah. have visited different countries already, Rodrigo. Yes, 
Yes, I have. Have you have you been um, in the United States? Yes, I have been to the United States two times. Yeah. Nice, nice. You're a lucky man. You're a lucky man. Thanks God. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I had fun. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Say goodbye. 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 Great job, by the way. Goodbye. Great job. You're the best, definitely. Good you're night. The, you're the best. <laughs> we are the best. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll see you tomorrow. We are the champ. Thank you. Be safe. Take it easy. Be safe. We 